Damn, that smells good. Check it out. This is Chris Kelly, the Wizards 1989 Honda CR125 Blood Red. This is the epitome of the steel frame CR. Last year of the Blood Red chassis and just this classic styling. Chris, this is your personal bike. It's been completely ripped down to the frame. Yep, torn it right down, stripped down to the frame. Yep. And uh, I kind of made it like Mike Krodowski and, and Guy Cooper's re a replica bike because I, I like both those guys. and. Kurdowski ended up winning the championship that year on the bike, but but Cooper was pretty good too. So um, airtime if they if you guys remember him. But I stripped it to the frame, painted it with PJ1 Honda paint, all new UFO plastic and mud flap, brand new twin air filter, red rental handlebars, new pro pro paper uh, per, uh, clutch perch and lever, uh, brand new kill switch, OD grips. Uh, domino throttle, complete domino throttle, brand new. Um, new clutch cable, newer Dunlop 756 tires, new tubes, tire locks, FMF Gold Series pipe, all redone and blown out. Uh, Pro taper shift lever, Technosol suede gripper seat cover, front and rear sprockets, rental rear, uh, new gold chain. New chain rollers, new chain block. Old school correct pro circuit billet steel foot pegs. New OEM front brake cable guide. New OEM axle nut. Rebuilt stock crankshaft. I used the stock crankshaft with a Pro X rod kit. All new main bearings, Pro X main bearings. Uh, all new gasket kits and seals. Boyce and Reeds. Fresh bore, it's 132 cc's. Uh, new Weisco. New fork seals, oil, rebuilt the rear shock, new oil, nitrogen, and a new bumper. Uh, also rebuilt front and rear calipers, uh, new pads, front and rear, and new front brake lever, new rear brake lever spring for the pedal, uh, all new hardware kit, and I have over 100 hours labor, I'm estimating. Easily. Yeah, and I built it for myself, and had some fun with it, and that's what I do. So, yeah, Chris, easily 100 hours of the frame off, splitting the cases, going uh, yeah. through the take brakes, it, everything. Take it right to the frame and right to the cases, and I start from there. So That's what I usually do. How, how, much, usually how do much ride time do you have on it at this point? Maybe not even an hour. Maybe an hour. an hour. Yeah, I've never really hit the dirt with it. Right. I've never taken it on. I took it on my track a little bit. That was it. Yeah, around, yep. the, around, around the house. Yeah, around my house track. Yeah. Well, the thing absolutely rips. It's carbureted beautifully. Uh, when I when I jumped on it first, the first thing I noticed was it stands nice and tall, like my like my 89. 89 CR yeah, it probably feels exactly the same. The steel, Besides, the handlebars might be right, a little lower. That's right. about it. This steel yeah. frame is is frick, it's just super comfortable. They corner like a dream. And Great aero, aerodynamics, right? Ergonomics. Ergonomics. <laughs> that's, that's broken. Kurt Kelly. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They call that. Yeah. Holy shit! But it, so suspension's been gone through. All the chassis bushings and bearings have been gone through. The brakes have been rebuilt. The engine's been rebuilt. All the plastics and running gear, everything's brand new on it. And it's for sale today. Chris, you must have a fortune tied up into this thing. Yeah, I was going to race it at Unadilla, but we didn't end up going. We didn't end up, end up yeah. going to Rewind, which is yeah. a total sin. Yeah. I can't believe we missed it. We're going to do it next year, and yeah. it'll probably be on a couple of my other ones. See a lot of your uh, yeah. trick hardware here, the drilled washers and stuff like that. Yeah, just little little special stuff, you know. It's some, some stuff from the new Honda uh, hardware kit as well, I see. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the stock OEM silencer too, huh? Yeah, it's stock, and I, I rebuilt it. You can still see the letters on it. Yeah, I just rebuilt it and repacked it. And uh, we were talking, we were looking yeah. at the photo shoot of this bike a couple minutes ago, and, and that's that, that's like this like little stinger tip right here is just cool cool styling. Gears. Yeah, that was that that would be illegal now because they got to be rounded off so you don't puncture yourself. 
somebody could lose an eye with one of those. <laughs> so that's why the AMA made them round off the cap. I didn't but know that. The, yeah, that's yeah. why this. That's why the stingers were eliminated. Yeah. What? Guys, somebody must have lost an eye. Yeah, right. <laughs> the, the blood red, red is just to die for, Chris. Yeah. You guys know I'm, a, I'm an 89 fan myself. My 500 is built on the 89 chassis. We're actually building, right now you have an 89 CR500 that we're building. Yes, downstairs. I'm building one downstairs. And I have a 250 at home building. 89 was the first year of the upside down forks, at least for the open class. For the 250 and the and the 500, right? Yep, 125 yep. got regular forks. Oh, so th yeah, this is how the regular forks. But guys, yep. you jump on this chassis yep. and, it, and it feels, it feels like, you know, I'll tell you what, th there weren't very, very many advancements past here as no, far they, as they, the engines and, and the chassis. Even the newer the ones feel the same. They feel the feel same. Feel the same. They yeah. may be aluminum, but they've kept the same measurements. So although yeah. the, the bike's 30 and change years old, yeah. Uh, you're, you're not exactly at a disadvantage. No, you're here. not. You're, you're, they're still competitive today. I just looked up some numbers on an old CR and a brand new YZ250, and they're a pound off in weight. No shit. On a bike that's <laughs> you know 20 years older than it, or 30 years older than each other. The original wheel set was repainted. Yes, that's uh, one thing it could use as a new set of hoops. But, but it, um, it, they're 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 balanced. They're balanced perfectly, and, and all the spokes are free. But yep. it's just not exactly a museum quality. Set. Yeah, I got there's one dent in the in the rear somewhere. Is there, there is a, a little dent, dent somewhere. All right, so, so, so the wheel set's not perfect. Yeah. But guys, that's one. The only that's, thing I would do is put a brand new set of Excels on it. If, you know? if we were to keep it, yeah, we would put a freshy set of Excels on it. Yeah, I'm relacing that new I set mean, of spokes and guys, boom, be all set. The original rads are nice and straight. They're yeah, not perfect, they're not, but yeah, um, pretty you know, good shape. Triple clamps have a nice finish on them. This is a killer vintage rider, something you take out on the weekends or, or, or guys, tuck it away. It's a great investment. Uh, ride it once at Udendilla or, MX3 Wine. Show up at a vintage race. That's it. Pull this hey, out of your truck. Show me the frame rails. Show me yeah. the frame rails. Yeah. Real quick. Left side rails, super smooth. Yeah, that, this one's in really good shape, Chris. Yeah, right, show them okay. the other side. We can ship the bike anywhere in the States reasonably and if anybody comments because the gas is leaking out that's what floats do when you tip motorcycles <laughs> on their side somebody yeah. commented on the last one when we tipped it over like this Chris is they said oh it's leaking the float must be stuck <laughs> no then the float's not stuck this is what they're supposed to do when you tip them on their side that's take a we... carburetor and tip it on its yeah, side. yeah right that's how we uh people make me mad when they comment that crap. unbelievable <laughs> uninformed yeah frame rails so. are like perfect so good candidate you started with here chris yeah Great job building it. Guys, yeah, it came out nice. States reasonably. We can finance classic dirt bikes through Freedom Road. Call the pre approved 860 471 You got any closing remarks, Chris? I raced one of these in 1990 in the amateur championships in NESC, and I finished seventh against all the other riders. And I had, I had. I had 10 years on all of them. I was 27, they were all about 17 in the top yeah. 10. And I raced a 1990, a 1989 CR125 in 1990 in the amateur championship in New England. Yeah, so, it was so, awesome bike. It was it was competitive as hell, even with the 90. It was it was faster motor than the HPP when they first came out. You have any flashbacks when you were building this thing to back in the day? Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah that, I had a great season that year, yeah. Guys, oh, I got an Iron Man award that year on that bike. No shit. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, it never no mechanical, no mechanical failures besides a front flat. I rode out on a flat front, rode a tw uh, 15 plus two on a front flat one day up in Maine. As Dakota yeah. said, the old CRs are so reliable over here. Yeah. Something along those lines. Guys, yeah. if you watched this far, thanks for watching. It's a ripper. Good luck bidding. God bless America.